everyone. How are y'all tonight? Give y'all a few minutes or seconds to get on here. <laughs> if you guys are watching tonight, let us know you're there and where you're watching from. Um, hi. Uh-oh. I got Sunny. I got Sunny here with me. <laughs> uh, my name is Krista Mulkey, and I'm the owner of Texas Gypsy Style. And we are continuing our Texas Gypsy Style Buffet painting series tonight. And our first coat was peony, or I'm sorry, I'm, our first coat was pe. Oh gosh, <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, let me start over. Our, <laughs> our first color was peacock and our second color that we're working on is peony and our third color should be tree frog so hey everyone <laughs> thank you <laughs> that's sunny he's my chiweenie uh all right so here is my color that i'm working with Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint, Peony. Some of you may say it differently. Hi there, how are y'all tonight? It's a bright and fun, colorful piece, for sure. And I am gonna continue working with my chip brush. I'm not, I'm not able to use the same one that I had last time. I didn't uh, wash it out and it didn't last till today. So it, it, I had quite a while between today and um, the, last, the last live we did on this. So I'm just taking you guys through on my steps of creating um, this look. And, oh, nine, <laughs> I hear my husband and my, kids leaving um but they're all right let's just paint how about that <laughs> um oh usually I do uh or it, it, it kind of consists of three colors and then um um a metallic so we're we're still on the second color it takes a little while with the larger buffets, but um, especially when doing like a series like this, but that's okay. We're, we're gonna get, get through it and y'all will see um, it all come alive right here on Dixie Bell Live. So if you missed the first two lives you can uh, go back either on my Facebook page or right here on Dixie Bells and um, watch those replays. You can watch re replays on any of our um, videos that we do on on here. So this one is a little different than normal. It's got such a big blank space in the middle, but um, which isn't always very normal for this um, Jacobean style <clears throat> buffet. I can't see from where I am, um, you guys commenting, but I will go back and mess, uh, mess it or respond to your messages later on. I don't, my daughter decided to go to, um, the GameStop trip versus helping me with my live. So, what do you do? <laughs> so here, let me bring y'all in here a little bit closer. Oh, Sunny's hanging out with me though. So let's just jump right in here. And this one, just like a lot of these buffets have a lot of little ledges and uh, decorative 
real wood veneer. And here I go over, like I do on all of them, with my chip brush. And I'm just trying to highlight all those um, raised little areas. Here, I can get y'all in there pretty good. <clears throat> so I don't want to like, I'm just trying to do my very best to get in there and create this um, kind of like, uh, it looks as if I went in there and um, sanded it, but I didn't. It's just paint, right? So a lot of people like to sand to do a faux distressing. I do not. Um, and this is just my way of doing it. And <clears throat> this is what how I get the get the job done on all of them. So let's point you down here. This middle piece for right now, I'm just gonna leave it and I'm kind of thinking about it, what I want to do over there. So, oh yeah, so Donna Priest is on here and she knows my style very well. Uh, she's totally welcome to answer uh, any questions. But I will also go back and <clears throat> message you guys too. So, hope everyone's having a good weekend. I was up at the shop today. Oh, hey, from Port Lavaca. What's up? I love it. Aww. Um, my grandparents have a bay house at Indianola. I don't know if I, do I know you? I don't know if I know you guys or not. <laughs> but I spent a lot of my childhood in that area. Yep. Myrtle Beach. Where is Sardinia? Thank you. I'm glad you like the colors. Let me bring this down. Okay, so... Here we have a very big, like, mold. Hi, guys. <laughs> How are y'all tonight? And so there's another ledge. If y'all look back in, um, oh, thank you so much. Oh, what a pretty word. Ooh, bellissimo. Mm. Um. If y'all go back on my other two lives, I talk about how I paint under my ledges. So even though it's pink, um, peony, peony, <laughs> y'all don't laugh at me for saying it the way I say it. <laughs> um, even though it's a pink shadow, that's what it will be. And I do it that way with all the colors. It just creates a nice kind of finished look. So we're still framing and I'm going to frame out. Thank you, Lisa, appreciate it. We're gonna frame out everything. Thank you, Dixie Bell. So here's 
a part that I always frame. I kind of, I cut in right here with the, the very tip of my brush. And I just, I mean, it's very simple, but I, I do it, um, very, uh, religiously. <laughs> um, and then I come down here and I will basically out, outline or frame um, this entire bottom. So, as I said before, sorry about that. Hi from Brazil, Columbus, Ohio. That's so neat how everybody just comes on here at the same time all over the world. It's awesome. So glad to have y'all on here. Thank you. Um, so this is, um, this is a dry brushing technique, uh, basically, but I have kind of, uh, narrowed it down to a, there, um, kind of like a way of doing it. And I'm just, it, it's nice to have this um, sort of process in place when you're using lots of color. Uh, a lot of times people don't know where to put it, maybe, you know? And it's a little overwhelming for some people to use lots of color. So when you break it down like this, it's not so bad. Not so bad at all. So, um, and I don't do, I just like to have um, a, a rhyme and a reason maybe for um, where everything goes. So, I am just going to kind of get in here and I didn't, I honestly did not pick a very easy one, <laughs> a very easy buffet to work on this, but you know, it, 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 it's, it's all good. It's going to work out and we will love it. I'm not, and I'm, the only reason I say that is because it's very centered um, everything is very centered. I don't know how to explain that to y'all and how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm making this design or kind of making it up as I go. So bear with me. Um, I did do this one. I did the baby buffet to this one in holy guacamole. Hey, Oregon. <laughs> Monterio, Sydney, Australia. Awesome. But so in the very end of this project, I'm going to um, try to capture lots of um, sunlight, um, imagining like sunlight and kind of working with some shading just by doing this. So right now you see, Hey Beth, I'm already going to start working from right to left with my highlights. And you'll see that kind of happen more on my um, moonshine metallics. But for now, I'm trying to paint more like on the right, but not all, all the time. So, even, even though everything's 
face like the same way, but just imagine sunlight coming from right to left. That's just how I work. Somebody may want to do it left to right, top to bottom, you know? It just kind of makes sense for me. It gives me uh, direction and it helps me with placement of my colors. In the end, you may not even notice that I think there's sunlight in this, <laughs> but I'm just explaining how I get there. Is all. I do have, if y'all want to fast forward, I do have YouTube tutorials on a few buffets that I've already done and different color combos. So y'all can kind of see where I'm going with it already. Hello! <laughs> So we've kind of already gone over all this. We can do one of the legs, or I was already working on one of the legs here. Let's get down on the lower part. So do you guys, um, like to paint uh, furniture like this? Are y'all new to painting? So many questions. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so on the legs, I'm going to also start where um, imagining where my sunlight's coming in. So I'm thinking, uh, I always think um, right top to left bottom. So, um, and even this is my second color, so I'm not too concerned about it totally. Like um, portraying a total ray of sunlight coming through right now. But at least you kind of see where I want to go. And I'm sorry if I'm going, <laughs> I'm sorry if I go fast. I've, I said, I do this a lot. And um, so it just kind of comes a little fast sometimes. I get excited and I want to show you guys the next color. <laughs> I went, I was live on my, oh, Deborah's new and she is going to be hooked on painting furniture like the rest of us. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> it's highly addicting. <laughs> All right, let's work on this right here since y'all haven't seen that being done yet so this is like a uh, little the brace for the bottom and I just think it's really cool because they even decorate the very bottom of these cabinets not all of them come like this but um, the majority of them have a, a real nice um, carved bottom. So on here, I'm just going to hit the tops of these little carved in pieces, which is just, I'm just highlighting them. It's 
I work one color at a time. I don't like I don't like to have a whole bunch of colors open at one time. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I just do it that way, you know. Um Oh yeah, one of the girls said that I like, I tickle the furniture with how I paint. <laughs> I guess I have like a really light brush stroke with the, with my chip brush. So. Okay, so up under this ledge, I'm, I'm, uh, can y'all see that? Um, on this ledge, I just want to drag this all the way across and that way it just kind of creates a little bit of a depth or shadow and um, I'm going to come and basically frame it out first and get it nice and framed like so. Even on the back side, and I just kind of brush across, which is a pretty normal thing for a lot of people to do. So, um, and then on the inside, here we can go ahead and get this. And while I go like that, I still like to bring it across that way. It kind of, it fills in better. All right, here I'm gonna drag across the bottom. Right down there, there's some pretty little grooves. And once again, I'm gonna uh, just hit on this right side more so, try to, than the other side. And this is such a small area, it kind of looks a mess right now, but uh, once we get it, all um, the other colors on there, we'll get it uh, more defined and ready to go. So, at these points, I'm just going to do a little draggy drag right there and make those points darker. And then we can, let's go on to the side because the sides are, um, sorry, let me get y'all situated. I'm gonna bring the camera around to the side. We'll work on the side. Whoops. Okay, so for right now, here's where we're at. I'll show you. Let me get you down here. So y'all can kind of see where we're at. There's Sunny. <laughs> He's watching Mama. Okay. So on the sides, these are very standard. Okay, um, let me do this. Watch out, poop, poop. Okay. Oh man, I hope I don't, sorry. <laughs> don't flash anybody. All right, let's shift this out. Pink is gorgeous. That's peony. It's, oh man, y'all gotta go back further. Or let me move this. 
It is a long buffet. It requires lots of space to work in. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let me see. Okay, right there. Y'all should be able to see everything. Oh, go down. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day. Oh, I was up at the shop all day. <laughs> Zhuzhing. All right. So, you guys can see that I didn't fill it in all the way with my peacock because I don't always fill it in. Um, it gives me, it kind of puts off a different color, different tone, but you don't all, you don't, you can fill it in as much as you like, but so, I, sometimes I don't. Um, kind of gives it more, a more bold look, uh, look a more rustic kind of look when you have the wood or the brown showing through. That's just one coat. And um, it's got brush marks and all the good stuff on it. So, okay, this is how I work my sides. And if you guys do furniture a lot or you start doing furniture a lot, you will Notice that your sides tend to look a lot alike because they're all built, you know, so you've got your front, your legs, your frame, and your big side, the big scary blank side. How do I distress a white dresser? Hi, Lakita. Um, I actually just did a live day before yesterday on my Facebook page. And I did white with um, with a pine cone. I did cotton and pine cone. So I know I always match my furniture. Um, but I can either send that to you, but just go check out my Facebook page and go to my live videos. If you're looking for a, I mean, solid white, you know, um, you have to have something other than white in order to distress. I use pine cone as a faux wood look. So go check it out and um, you'll love it. <laughs> I did on a hall tree. That's what you're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to frame out and this is how I do it. I have my ledge. I just start right here. I go across. And, oh gosh, you can't really see that very good. I hope y'all can see that. But the lighting is so not good right there. There's a big shadow. Let me get the light. What's the point if you can't even see it, you know? draw my line up under here it's not perfect I don't want it to be perfect and then I cut in right here on these corners and I go straight down I do this to all of them that's why you see when I do my buffets if y'all have seen them before they always look like this on the sides real crazy and distressed looking and all these different colors so you can make yours as distressed as you want. You don't have to go super crazy with it every time. You know, just start small and then uh, move forward, move, move up with it if you want. <sighs> um, I've, 
I get paint on me all the time, honey. <laughs> Uh, most of my clothes definitely have paint on them, so. <laughs> this is just an easy one, because I do them so much. <laughs> Alright, so, let's go down on this bottom part. So, a lot of times, the bottoms of these, real wood veneer, uh, a lot of times they're cracked, chipped. But I always leave it, unless it's super damaged, I'll throw on mud, Dixie Bell's mud. Um, it will fill a major crack. Um, it's great stuff. Uh, definitely something to have on your shelf. And when you need it, you can grab it. So I'm going to take my chip brush and I'm just going to lay it kind of flat. And we're just... Um, I'm just going to hit the edge here and make my line, but obviously I didn't do it very perfectly, um, but that's what I want. So now I'm just going to kind of work with what I put on there and um, go about it like that. And then I'm going to kind of round out this side and this side. I can kind of start to go more um, move inward. So another thing that I talk about is um, framing out and then moving your color towards the center. And you can go all the way or, you know, not too far at all. Yep, this is a chip brush. Um, my base coat was done with... Um, yeah, I either do the flat large or the oval medium now. Um, all right, so I'm going to just, so, I mean, all I'm doing is making my box and I'm working with whatever the piece has to offer me. Um, and this one has raised you know, all this wood veneer is not perfect, but look what it gives me. You know, it gives me a very beautiful effect and natural texture. Um, in the end, I'm going to seal up the whole thing and it's going to be good to go for a long time. So, um, it's not something to fuss about. So, on the sides, I have this frame and this frame. And as small as it is, I'm still going to box it in. So here I'll start at the top and I'm gonna do it left-handed so y'all can see. Oh hell, sorry. Maybe I shouldn't do it left-handed. <laughs> Okay, so you can kind of, oh Lord, let me scoot over. You can come from this side or that side, and I'm gonna go all the way down, but just since y'all are right here. So y'all can see I can go from this side or the other side, but, and all I'm doing is using that very center of my brush and just, and um, down on right here, I just round it out like that. I'm just barely doing a little brush with it. Um, oh, thank you, Donna. Appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more paint and I'm always wiping it back so I don't have too much. Another very important thing about this is that I don't use any water. When using a chip brush, just think zero water, no water, right? I always wanna write no water on my chip brush. <laughs> yeah, it's dry brushing. Yes, yep, 
And I, yeah, I said that earlier. So it is dry brushing. The only thing that I do is I have like a kind of a way of doing it. So it just makes sense um, for people to use, um, especially if they're using a lot of color. Some people um, kind of need or would like a step by step. So in mine, I usually do like three colors and a metallic. So, but you can use whatever colors you want. And yes, it's dry brushing, but I just do it a certain way. And people have asked for videos and how to, so here it is in the flesh. All right, oh, sorry, y'all didn't even get to see that. Um, okay. Alrighty, so whenever on here, if you want to do a little bit more, um, I kind of do a little faux distress and I put a little paint on here, tap it, bring it up, and then I just drag it down. And that kind of just looks um, like a big streak, you know? So. Uh, let's see. So. I'm gonna go down here, bring it forward. We've only got just a few more minutes. So what I'm gonna do is work on this. That way we can get to our, our um, last color on our next, our next live. So on these buffets, are we in the back? Okay. Oh God, let me. Okay, so I'm going to finish framing out. I drag it across the bottom. And I throw a, a top. I frame out these right here. I'm just hitting the tops. The big difference that you see here is that I frame everything out. It gives that, um, it gives your dry brushing a more controlled look, shall we say? Instead of all of, you know, just, all over the place maybe if you want it to look a certain way you can kind of go about it this way so look at it so you can see how already the side we've got some dimension just by framing out and I can go in with this and um, I do it on most of mine so I'll bring in the third color and we'll, ki we'll kind of do the same thing um, 
but a little bit different. So I will push this back and I saw quite a few questions on here. I will definitely uh, go back on here and get with you guys. You got totally welcome to go to my YouTube channel, Texas Gypsy Style. My name is Krista Mulkey. Um, if y'all have questions on there, just let me know. If you guys create anything, Texas Gypsy Style, you guys can use my hashtag on Instagram now and have your pieces featured on there. So I'm excited about that. And everybody always has such awesome color combos. So that's what's fun about this. And you can really um, hone in on certain colors and all that. Um, but yeah, if y'all were inspired by this video or anything else I've done, I appreciate y'all placing your Dixie Belle orders with me. I uh, provided the link in the description. Y'all can order online, have it delivered to your door. Um, or you can go find your local retailers to get all your products. But y'all can order paint supply, supplies like brushes and everything. So it's really nice. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, and y'all have a wonderful Saturday night. See y'all later. <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. <laughs>